Hello everyone. Today uh, we'll talk about Touch GFX and how it uh, communicates between the GUI and the PCB hardware. Um, you know, you got your main, the PCB hardware with buttons, LEDs, uh, serial uh, interfaces to uh, maybe sensors. Um, and you have your GUI with the soft buttons, uh, images, um, text. Lines or circles or something that you have drawn. Um, so, how do you get the data uh, from the hardware over to the GUI and update it? And vice versa, how do you get the button states and sliders or whatever uh, data back to the main um, so that it can process it? Um, well, uh, when you design the um, your GUI, um, Touch GFX uh, generates um, a view model. Um, so you have your view here, and then you have your model. And then it also generates a presenter um, file. And the presenter file uh, is kind of like a middleman that relays uh, data information between the view and the model. Um, a single screen, you know, uh, has the view and the presenter. Uh, and uh, you know the presenter again just relays the data back and forth between the view and the model. Um, maybe if you have a second screen, um, Touch GFX generates another view and a presenter um, for that screen. Um, screen one and screen two actually shares the same model um, file um, so how do you integrate uh, the touch gfx uh, view model with the, you know, the GUI the, and the um, hardware well the model is the interface to the hardware side um, you know, it updates um, the uh, hardware with the view information and the view got you know, the data from the GUI here um, but then also uh, the model will take uh, the information from the hardware like a button press or whatever or serial data and sends that to the view the view you know just updates the GUI with whatever uh, data they got from the model. And then uh, it also takes the button presses or slider uh, value and sends it back to the model in which you know the model then updates the main and then the main can process that information that it got from the GUI. Um, currently, the way TouchGFX uh, designed this view model is you can't directly say um, main can't access the view directly so you can't have main go to uh, and access view to have view update the button uh, state it has the main has to go through model and the presenter and view so if you wanted to uh, turn on a you know image of an LED um, you have to you know send that uh, information through the model presenter view and then the, the view will then uh, communicate and uh, switch um, image from an off state to an on state and uh, let's see okay so um, Here's the thing with uh, multiple screens is, um, let's say screen one has a button that's on and maybe a slider that's at 50%. Um, when you switch to screen two, the GUI for screen one is destroyed. And TouchGFX does that just to save resources. Um, and if you have multiple screens open, you're gonna use a lot of uh, uh, resources and 
uh, you might ran, run out of uh, RAM and you're going to run uh, in stack space so you, um, it's best to destroy that screen. Well here's the thing is if you went switching from screen 2 back to screen 1, uh, screen 1 the GUI is regenerated but all the values for the buttons or the or not the values but the state um, of the buttons or the slider are at default so if button uh, the button could be if the default state could be zero or off and then the slider could be uh, at zero so uh, how do you update the, um, the GUI uh, from the previous uh, state well, you can create some uh, variables um, in that view and uh, save the state of the button or slider value. Um, also, like on screen two, um, and you got a radio button, it could be true, and scroll wheel index is at three. Um, but what if happens if uh, you lose power or you, um, you power down the interface and then uh, you power back up? Obviously, when you go to screen one, you want to remember the last state and update those buttons. Um, but because uh, these values were saved in RAM, um, um, they're now not valid val uh, values anymore. Um, so what do you do? Well, you can save these values to flash, um, whether it be the STM32 uh, flash or an external flash um, but you know when you power up and you go to screen one uh, how do you get that information um, the button states um, slider value um, back um, to the view to update the GUI well when you enter screen one you can actually uh, trigger an event telling the view um, you know screen one was entered so now view one can uh, send a notification uh, uh, through the presenter model and to the main and say, uh, you know, that I need some information about screen one um, uh, state. So uh, the main can uh, read the flash memory, then send the data. Um, so it will through, uh, send the data through the model presenter back to the view and then the view now has that new, uh, or not new data, but just the saved data. And now it can update the, the previous state of the buttons and slider. Um, but is that the best approach? Or there's a better way of doing this? Well, you can do uh, global variables. Um, so on power up, um, you can have main initialize whatever it needs to, and then also access uh, the flash memory, read um, all that data, and then update the global variables um, for the uh, for the screens. Um, so now uh, main has you know access to global variables at any time, and then the view has access to the global variables at any time. Uh, when you're switching screens, um, view, uh, you know, when you switch, switch screens, you know, you uh, trigger an event, screen one was entered, so now view will uh, uh, handle that event and it needs to update the, uh, the state of the button sliders or uh, whatnot. Um, it has direct access to the variables. Um, and it's an immediate. It doesn't have to go through the presenter model and main and notify that it needs information. It just gets its uh, data directly from the global variables. If you switch to screen two, um, same thing. Um, it, screen two has direct access to the global variables. It doesn't have to go through the presenter model and the main and then back, you know, getting the, reading the flash memory and send the data back it has direct access to the global variables and the same for screen 3 and screen 4 direct access to the global variables the nice thing about the global variables is 
let's say in screen one you had the slider um, at 50 percent um, well screen two when you enter screen two uh, it can get its information update the, the buttons um, state but it also has access to uh, screen one's uh, data um, and also screen two or or I'm sorry, screen three and screen four. So you enter screen two, you can access all these other screen uh, data information. Um, that could be helpful because uh, uh, screen two might rely on a certain state um, of screen one's uh, slider event um, or value. Um, so yeah, um, you know that you know I showed you the first way of uh, um, saving uh, the variables in each view um, but the better approach would be using the global variable that both the main and view can access so um, so this is how the view model works uh, communicating between the, the hardware and the GUI um, and then um, the way to update the GUI when you switch screen is obviously uh, to use the global variables it can directly access the view can ac access directly those um, variables and update the GUI right away instead of having to go through uh, the presenter model main and then come uh, come back through um, so yeah hopefully this uh, video helps you uh, um, understand how all this uh, works um, just want to say thank you if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and uh, hopefully I'll make some more more new videos um, thank you